Hello, welcome to Welding Certification Program. In this video, I would like to show how to upload a CWI stamp document um, in our new system. So let's log in to the WCP new system. And to log in to the WCP, you can also see the video in the description below. But um, the URL is wcptest.iwnkill.org colon 5050. You enter the username, um, local username and password. And once you click login, you will land up to the homepage, which is our dashboard. Once you're on the logged in, you, on the left hand side, you will see our welding program and all the sub tabs on the left hand side. But before we upload the stamp, of, upload the CWI stamp, we want to make sure that this member holds the, or this inspector holds the valid certification. In order to check that, uh, you click on the certifications and then certifications, and you will see a certification filter page. And go ahead and enter the member. We're going to enter the member number. Okay, you can either press enter or load. And once you do that, you will see all the certification hold by this member, the, whether it's expired or the valid certifications. And you can see that this member has A1, A2 as an valid certification so you know that this member is uh, in a good state to be a cwi inspector so we can the, uh, also you can click on the member's name and from the actions button on the right hand side you can click either uh, list test results or list certifications and you will see again that this member has all these certifications and this is the A1, A2, which is not expired. So he is in a good status to be a CWI inspector. So the next thing is on the left hand side to upload a CWI stamp, you're gonna click on utilities. And then you see a tab, a sub tab called CWI stamps. Then you see two tabs, which is CWI stamps and then CWI stamp upload. The first I would like to show you the CWI stamp upload since we are uploading a new certificate, or I'm sorry, the new CWI stamp. So let's click on that. And the first thing is you want to select the JATC. So for this local user, the JAT721. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. And once you enter the number, it should automatically select the right JATC. Now let's go ahead and enter the book number again. And when you tab, you will see the name will by pull the name will automatically pull up with the book number and you can see that this number is good and we can go ahead and enter the cwi number and the expiration date which is we know it's three years from the issue date so we already know 23 so 24 25 26 and you click on this calendar or in the box and you go ahead and select the right date expire date and it's April 19th, and you can see it's 4 19 2026 is the expiry date. The next thing you want to upload is the CWA authorized letter. So, it, and it has to be a PDF document only. So, go ahead and click on browse. And let's go ahead, and I already have this saved on my computer. So, we're going to select the CWI document, open, and then you submit it. It's going to go ahead and update all the details and you can see for Mr. George Clooney, it's in a pending status and it's from local 721 and expired date is 420, uh, 419 2026 for this CWI. So this CWI is still in the pending status because the NTF admins the, uh, in, at the headquarters still needs to look at the paperwork or the stamp and then approve it. Once they approve it, it will become an active and ready for use. So it also, I do want to show you when you are under a CWI stamps, you can see all the pending inactive and active status for your CWI inspector. Or you can also enter the book number here if you have a lot of CWI inspectors and click load and you should be able to see if they are active, pending, any kind of 
CWI status. So this is how basically you look into the CWI stamps. Thank you.